and justice shall reign. Some concerned Nigerians have held a protest in Lagos against killings in parts of Nigeria, especially the North Central and other parts of the country. The protesters, who are made up of indigents of three local governments, attacked on Christmas Eve, and members of the project's Victory Call initiative are calling on the government to wake up to its primary responsibility of securing lives and properties of Nigerians. These protesters want the government to fish out those responsible for the Christmas Day killings in 26 villages in the local governments. They also call for the presence of security personnel in the local government. We are seeing the life of everyone in Nigeria matters, and that the killing in uh, Ben, uh, sorry, in, in on the play two, particularly Boko's during the Christmas, is unacceptable. We believe, of course, in these dynamics that uh, it will have an impact not just in Nigeria but internationally because. Lagos is the high of Nigeria. When Lagos can see, Nigeria will see. And we believe that we can call global attention to what is going on in Nigeria, better in Lagos. And moreover, Sanwolu is the babakekere of the dynamics of uh, what is going on. And of course, his big baba in Lagos should at least have his, he should have the air of his big baba in Lagos. So if we can have access to the president and access to Sanwolu, is equally an access to the president. We are saying, while we appreciate the gesture of government, we are requesting that the government should consider a hybrid uh, uh, approach to security. By that, what I mean is that, they should go, that the, 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 the Mola barracks should be, you know, for the purpose of both military, MOPOL, police, and even immigration. The protest by Project Victory Call Initiative, titled One Love Nigeria, aimed at voicing the collective discontent and displeasure of Lagosians and Nigerians as a whole against the ongoing mass killings in Plateau, Benue, Kaduna, and other states across our federation. According to data from the National Security Tracker, NST, 3,841 people were reported to have been killed by non-state actors in 2023 while 4,243 others were kidnapped the same year.